Reality K1 is an amazing 3D printer, fast and sleek. But there's one thing that always bothered me. The filament spool and sensor is stuck in the back. It makes the printer harder to move, harder to access, and just well inconvenient. But we have a solution. Today we are installing the Honeycomb Style Side Mounts Kit, a super cool functional upgrade that will move the filament spool and the sensor to the side of your K1, making your setup more efficient and stylish. We will go from this to this. I printed this kit using ACDT Yellow PG, and I got to say the Honeycomb design really pops. It's both functional and cool aesthetic array for your K1. This kit includes two parts the filament sensor mount and the spool holder mount. Both parts are designed to make the most of the size of the panel of your Kelly K1. But before we get into the installation, let's talk about what you will need. For this installation you will need M310 screws, you will need at least 5 of them, 3 for the spool mount holder and 2 for the fil filament sensor holder. I think M38 screws will be better, but I didn't have them. And of course, your trusty screwer. I will use these X ones, one for the original screws and another one for the ones I will use. Before to start, switch off your printer and remove the plug. For easy operation, turn the printer to the side. This up, let's install the filament sensor mode. Remove the screws from the top right of the side panel. Now grab the filament sensor mold and secure it with the two screws. I recommend you to install it first on the both sides to align it properly. When that is pl it's in place, it's time to remove the filament sensor from the back to the side. Remove the clip and release the tube and unscrew it from the back. Remember you save your screws because you will use the original ones. Now carefully pull from the cable to make it able to arrive to the new position. A little bit more. Be gentle. Try to right doesn't break anything. But a little by little. You will have enough cable to arrive to the side a little bit more. And I think it's enough. And you can see I released enough cable to install the mount on the side. Use the same screws and attach to the new mount. You can install the tube again. And add the clip. Now install the spool holder. Check what screws you need to remove. These two from here and this one from here. Grab the spool holder and secure it with the three screws. Now 
Finally, let's move the spool rack from the back to the side. Simply unclip it from the back and slide it into the Schoenig upside mount. And there you have it. Your spool is now conveniently mounted on the side, saving you space and making your K1 look even better. Check this out. Before, the spool and the sensor were accurately stuck on the back, making the printer harder to access. But now, with the side mount kit, everything is slick, accessible and functional. If you are thinking of installing this mod, I add the links to the parts, description and filament I used in the description. Have any there questions or the for further mods or designs? Drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on more 3 printing tips, mods, designs and reviews. Thanks for watching the video and as always, happy printing! If you like this video, will be great if you can like, share and subscribe to my Freecardi 3D YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy printing!